the portrait and also I was ex I was asking them have you ever made a collage they didn't know what a collage was some of these students had never done art before yeah. others are art students so it was a nice combination mm -hmm. and so uh, it was just so interesting to see what they made each and every piece was so different from the next mm. one of I have something it's a clay machine so you run the clay through and it makes it nice it's and smooth uh -huh. perfect uh -huh. And so one of the students, um, she took the mesh. I was showing them how to add silver leaf, which looks so nice when you add it to the clay. Uh -huh. She takes it with the mesh, and she puts the whole thing through with the mesh. And I was like, oh, no, no. You know, and it turned out perfect. And then she kept running it through, and I said, okay, just, you know, <laughs> don't, don't, you know, it's you know it's it'll be good the first two or three times, but then it might break or something. Uh -huh. But it... it turned out perfectly. Another student, uh, he we're, we're going to be using bottles, plastic bottles tomorrow. So he took one of the bottles, which uh, we're, we're going to work with, and he put his on, on it because he wanted the leopard's face to be 3D. Whoa. So, you know, we sort of reshaped it because if it sits that way it's going to crack mm. so you know we were sort of talking about it and it's it's a lot of experimentation and there's no right or wrong reason to to do it in a certain way um you know you just try things mm -hmm. and i found that the students were really open to that wow. and trying new materials and coming up with new ways to do things so you know it's interesting to teach and it's also great that I can learn to see it, you know, from what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to see so. that. I want to see, like, art kiss. Like, you, the one that you say, the leopard, the mask. I want to see that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was very impressed. Which with, one? I, oh, one yeah. One? That, that's one of the, oh, that, it's a real close-up where you see the eyes of the leopard. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. That was done by one of the art students. Yeah. Mm. You know what? I'm kind of worried because, yeah. like, tomorrow, <laughs> if our listeners they want to join the workshop, but they have no idea about the art or oh. making like this kind of stuff before, how can they join? So it's oh okay. my gosh! Oh, um, yeah. It's well. It's a, tomorrow's really going to be a continuation. Uh, but if somebody comes, they can bring a water bottle and okay. they can. I'll show them how to paint it. You mm -hmm. can melt it and paint it. It doesn't give off any fumes. It's very sustainable. And that's one thing that they might enjoy. Uh, if they bring their water bottle, then they have their material. So everybody so, can join. Yeah, just let me know, because if 100 people <laughs> show up, I'm going to be, okay. But, you know, it's it, it, it'll be fun anyway to... Mm. Okay. to see people just there, learn so. and experiment with yeah. you mm, mm -hmm. okay yeah. and we have one question sure mm, one question from the Facebook <laughs> <Live. laughs> great um, can't wait to hear it mm -hmm. um, this person asking about in many parts of the world poverty can link to the wildlife trade and wildlife hunting how yes. can you how can we raise awareness of wildlife protection through arts and many locals are giving more weights on their surviving yes well that's a very good question mm. so when somebody is experienced pov experiencing poverty uh, obviously they're hungry so I don't disagree with somebody going hunting in order to feed themselves or their family what I what I what I think is not good is if people go hunting for sport mm -hmm. and there are, there are ways to do that mm -hmm. where you see people driving around with their gun mm -hmm. and that's that's not right because it's not really a level playing field mm -hmm. Uh, the animal has no chance to survive. It's not fair for and them. <laughs> exactly. And mm -hmm. so, um, if you know, if there's hunting going on and it's to sustain life, and if somebody is experiencing poverty, if they mm -hmm. live in the urban mm -hmm. areas, uh, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. But it's not right to take parts of the animal and sell them. Mm -hmm. That's that's not right. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. At as long as you hunt the animal for for your surviving yes for, to for eat overcome the hunger so yeah. it's it's fine in your opinion absolutely yes it is because i mean that you know that's since the beginning of time with indigenous people and even to this day mm -hmm. um n you know people who are indigenous have rights to 
hunt certain animals and you know much more than people who have not lived in that land for as long mm. so um, it, it is understandable and it should be allowed mm. yeah yeah that's a great answer um, Thank you. we have more questions yes um, Emily Shaw again <laughs> <laughs> um, she said that students sound amazing do you think they learn anything about wildlife trafficking do you have the chance to talk about it well, the fact is that, um, you know, I saw messages in their art. It says, save wildlife. Uh, you know, we basically, they, they had a very good experience, and uh, they really gave it a lot of thought mm. in their work. Mm. Um, I gave them the option of making any design mm. or, you, or putting an animal in mm. there. For the most part, in almost every single case, uh, everybody put an animal's face or a few animals mm. in their work, either as a image transfer, inkjet, or uh, or using beads or collage and uh, just different experimental works. Mm. So, I was very pleased with the results, mm. and I think yes, they got the real message to yeah. put that out there. To save, to save wildlife. Mm. So it wasn't just an art for art's sake experience. Uh, they really ha put a lot of thought into it. Mm. Yeah, Interesting. And you know what this question from um, the Facebook username Black Man LVS, it's kind of related to the question that I want, yeah, that I want to ask you. Um, since in Laos, in Laos circumstance, many people still eating the the wildlife they're still eating the wildlife it, it becomes and people get used to and it becomes a wildlife eating culture and mm -hmm. some people they believe that some of the wildlife are the um, traditional medicine yes so how can how can we raise awareness to this group of people well, that's a very good question, and I think that the answer is to reach the youth, which is what happened today. I have a feeling that a lot of these youth had not been exposed to that idea before. It was new to them. It, uh, Like I said earlier, it was an eye-opener. And uh, I think that uh, because we're working with students of, you know, they're at the end of high school or they're in college, I think it would be even more also good to reach people at a younger age. And so if there were school programs that would teach these things, uh, it wouldn't be a surprise later on to find these things out. Mm. Um, it's, there should be awareness in the community and it should be as part of everyday programming in school, especially if people are being taught humanities, social studies, civic responsibility, and um, basically, uh, it should be part of everyday life. Mm. So. You, you mean like um, the, the new generation, they need to know more about that. Absolutely. They need to be educated about the wildlife. Yeah, I mm. mean, it's, it's just like with, uh, with the overuse of plastic, like we were talking about earlier. Mm. Same with wildlife. Uh, mm. Wildlife should be out in the wild. It should not be in a circus, a zoo, or um, or in a market, mm. you know, you know, for, for, I mean, I understand that certain, uh, medicinal purposes, it's, it's an, in, it's a tradition, and, um, uh, on the one hand, yes, you want to respect tradition, on the other hand, it's sort of like, mm. um, learning uh, what's happening with the wildlife, and that they're very endangered, and so, if they become extinct, well, then, what's the point you know mm. you have this medicinal purpose and everything else but it wouldn't be accessible anyway mm -hmm. so yeah it's not sustainable at all <laughs> it has to be there sustainability should be taught in school at a grade level mm. i think especially now with the climate control with the climate uh concerns mm -hmm. going on and things like that. Yeah, we should yeah. talk about this topic <laughs> a lot in order yes. to make it more viral. Yes. To make pe many people get used to with this kind of the word and get used to with the concept of the wildlife conservation. Yes. And, but what about the art? How can we use the art to be the tool to raise this topic up? 
Well, um, it's very good to use a recognizable symbol that mm. people can identify with. And I think that that could be something that could be explored um, by the youth because their their minds are open. They're they're going to create something unusual, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's it's there has to be a lot of um, cooperation with you know sh uh, you know trusting them to come up with the answer because uh, first expose them to the idea, experiment, and then see what they come up with. Mm. And uh, I think that if if there's an image that would be well recognized mm -hmm. it would be great mm -hmm. like the yeah. world wildlife panda for example yeah. yeah interesting i know that this topic it's very big it's yes, very very big. very big but i'm very i'm still feel honored that in very like good for having you in the program as the person as the artist oh, to try the you. best to raise awareness about this topic so as I say earlier in the beginning of the program that not only people who directly work in this field can save the environment, everyone, you can be the great example that see the jewelry designer <laughs> can raise up awareness about the wildlife conservation. Thank you. And what about us? We have so many tasks, so many careers in, in our life. How can we adapt and adjust your career to raise awareness something and make this social change mm -hmm. so I think you're a great example of well, that. thank you mm. it's an honor for me to participate in this and you know learning experience as well it's it's just really all around a great experience yeah. even yeah. me ask about your next collection <laughs> well my next collection well uh, I've already made leopards so Leopard. that is yeah mm. um, but uh, the other animals that we've covered um, you know, some of them were not really uh, familiar to me, like the sun bear. Sun bear. I, now I've been asked to make bears. People ask me, "Can you make this? Can you make that?" So I, I was uh, exploring bears as one of my subject matters. Um, but uh, the sun bear is just so beautiful, and so is the pangolin. And mm. uh, you know, so there are so many choices there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, and people love the elephants. I, I make elephants. And yeah. yeah. Wow. So, so, how so, can yeah. we keep in touch with you and see your all collections? Well, uh, my website is michellebenjamin.com. Mm, Michelle Benjamin. If you want to find me, it's hashtag Michelle Benjamin. And uh, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, all, the, all the social all the media. Social media. <laughs> Twitter. Oh, that's media platform. Yeah, it's not hard to find me. <laughs> oh, okay. So. <laughs> Just search by typing Michelle Benjamin. That's correct. Mm, yes. And we will see all your um, masterpieces. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Well, uh, it's on Google. You can just Google me and you'll, yeah. you'll see a lot of images and also um, just different, uh, you know, publicity, mm -hmm. runway, um, and in fashion shows, things like that. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever Google yourself? Uh, I have because I'm. Uh, I have to. I have to post to Google. Also, I ah. get reminders to say, okay. "Oh, it's been a week. You have to." You know, I have reminders set and things like that. So yeah, I do a lot of social media and mm -hmm. marketing, advertising, oh. things like that. I love that. I love that you, you try to approach to um, to yeah, it's the many people as as many as possible. That's yes. a good thing to raise awareness Thank about you. a certain topic. Yeah. Well, this is a very important topic and, and very important to me. And so I'm just very happy to be part of it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for Oh, coming. my goodness. My pleasure. Thank you for having but me. Before I let you go, yes. I still have one activity. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear. Are you ready for that? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. I have one box right here, excuse me. Uh oh. It's called um Super Challenging Questions. Oh good, okay. <laughs> it's a Miss Universe question. Okay. So you that got a chance fun. to try to be a Miss Universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what is Just it? Just pick one question. And I'm I hope they're good. You. Okay. Oh it's all good questions. Did I win the lottery? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh okay. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> this question is in Lao, but I will try my best to translate okay, it to you. At least. This question says that what 
will you do if you know that many people don't like you? Um, I wouldn't do anything because that's life, you know. You you can't you can't please everybody, and if you do, then you're not being yourself. Mm. So I learned a long time ago that that's the truth, and um, you know, it's sort of like you're walking, right? And then you say, well, do you want me to walk like this? Do you want me to walk? Mm. You know, it's sort of like you have to put one foot in front of the other every day and just move forward and mm. not worry about what people think. Mm. And that's, I think that's the best thing because uh, if you change, then people will try to change you more mm -hmm. and they'll say, well, I didn't really like the way you did that or, you know, mm. so I just, I just sort of think it's, um, it's good just to believe in yourself mm. and, um, and be positive, mm. you know. Cool. Yeah. So as a jewelry designer, have you ever received the, um, the question or, or maybe the, the feedback from from your customers, I mean the bad feedback from them, and how do you handle with that? Uh, well, actually, I've, I have to tell you, I've been very fortunate. I don't really get a lot of negative feedback. Oh, I mean, I totally am fine. You know, if somebody has something where they said, oh, oh here's one, actually about a week ago, um, I got a return because somebody was allergic to sterling silver. They, ju they were just, they said, oh, you know, I bought this for my girlfriend, but I, I just learned that she doesn't wear sterling, it, okay. she's allergic. Mm -hmm. Now, that's kind of unusual, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, you know, no problem. Mm. You know, it's just part of business, and uh, at the same time, I, I just haven't really had a lot of negative, but um, I count myself fortunate for that, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I do really want to please the customer, so when I create something, I really check it three or four times really closely to make sure that it's uh, the highest quality, mm. flawless, really good. Mm. Some pieces just don't turn out, so <clears throat> like when you're casting, so you, they just, you just set them aside and you make a new one mm. or, uh, you know, you can improve it. And, and so, um, all the pieces that I make, I really have a very high standard of quality control. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been very good in that way. Mm. Um, yeah, that's so. a very good mindset for for everybody who do anything oh. in life. <laughs> yeah, you need to yeah. do the best in everything that you do. Yeah, mm, and if it turn out like good for you as well. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Yeah. But before we say goodbye, do you have anything that you want to say with our audiences or our listeners out there about <coughs> your um, your products, your arts, or the wildlife conservation, please? Yes, well, uh, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure for me to be here f in Laos. It's my first visit to Asia, and it's been just a wonderful experience. Everybody's been so wonderful and very friendly, and uh, and I hope to come back again soon. Yeah, and so. yeah, and thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you so so much for coming. And as I said. I need to say it loud okay, in this part. เอ่อดิเจอร์รี่ครั้งนึงเนาะก่อนที่เราจะจากกันคืออันนี้ก็เป็นหนึ่งในเอ็กซัมเปิลที่ว่าดีทางมิเชลเบนจามินเพิ่
ที่เพื่อนควรจะเห็นโมเมนต์ว่าเห็นแต่อยู่ในหูบตัวจริงบุพัดโมหินซ้ำอันนั้นกะสั้นเงินบัวเอาเนาะ so I just translate all the things that we have conversation today into <laughs> now, into the two or three sentences that's quite a feat <laughs> <laughs> I just yes. say that um every everyone should contribute to wildlife conservation not Absolutely. just only people who work in this area not Absolutely. just only not um environmentalist working in this area mm -hmm. can do this everybody need to contribute to this absolutely mm. i couldn't agree more mm -hmm. yeah. thank you so much again thank you for all listeners out there thank you for all the questions from anybody who want to rewatch this video check out on our facebook page love youth radio this video will be there forever <laughs> <laughs> you can rewatch 100 times if you think it's very useful for you just Click like and share to your Facebook friends. No, for today, thank you so much again. Me, myself, DJ Dada, our special guest, Mr. Benjamin. Thank you, Dada. Appreciate. Thank, thank you for thank coming. Khop chai. Lakka khop chai sponsor kong hao pom khop chai mayang Coca Cola, Chester Filling, call khop chai mayang Sky Telecom. No, very fast and smooth internet connection ever, ever, ever. ต้องหาพอได้หนึ่งแปดสามสามเนาะต้องหาพอลดสำหรับวันนี้ไปแล้วหมดเวลาแล้วพบกันใหม่โอกาสหน้าเนาะสวัสดีไปก่อนบาย